All right. Hey, everyone. This is Keith Armstrong. So I'm going to make an assignment for my second graders here. I'm going to go to create assignment. Uh, genre passages is of what I want. There's also vocab and work study. And distance learning content packs. I haven't really gone through that, but I'm going to do genre passages. And hopefully we can find one on poetry. No, I don't see one on poetry Not yet, but they're adding things every day. So let's do what are my kids interested in that we're kind of going over nature outside realistic fiction that that can't miss and the number of passages. Let's do five passages next. Let's do all of my students next start date let's do today end date um, let's give them over vacation they have a vacation here so let's give them stuff they can do throughout the vacation and done and close our assignment now i have myself as a student here i don't know how long it takes to catch up with the questions but i'm a student in that class so let me build up some stuff. And by the way, I play tested on Squiggle Park. Uh, did some of their questions to see how to improve the game. And I have one free membership that I'm using right now. So I'm going to upgrade my imagina Imaginanium. That word is so hard to say. Um... The Empire of Ghana was a civilization that ruled over much of West Africa between 300 and 1100 CE. Ancient Ghana was very wealthy despite having no direct access to the most valuable resources of the time, gold and salt. Salt was in high demand for both flavoring and preserving food. In fact, salt was so valuable that it was literally traded for its weight in gold. I better go back in time and go to my cupboard and get my salt. The mines of North Ghana produced salt, and the mines to the south produced gold. The clever rulers of Ghana saw an opportunity here. Facilitate trade between the north and the south and, uh, south and reap all the rewards. The empire of Ghana became the center of trade in the region, even extending its reach to trade across the Sahara Desert. Which of the following are true about salt? So select all correct answers. You might want to go over your students if you have to click multiple. Uh, this is correct. That's also correct. Uh, the mines in the south produce salt. Let me see. The mines in the north, so not that one. In Chicago, Missouri, I guess, uh, that's right. It was very di no direct contact. Aha, so they were in the middle. So just those two. Let's move my face. All right. So we have more questions here. I really want to get to the reward. Am I at the reward yet? I'm not. Yeah. Oh. This might be the question I gave the students. We'll find out. Asher loved the lamp at his aunt's house. It didn't turn on with a switch like normal lamps. You didn't push a button or pull a chain. No. To turn this lamp on, you had to clap. Hey, it's the clapper. Clap, clap on, clap, clap off. Asher could sit there and do it all day. It was like magic. Sometimes he would try different sounds. Not all the sounds worked. He banged the pots, bang, bang on. He slapped his bare belly, slap, slap, nothing. He knocked the walls, knock, knock, off. He stomped the floor, stomp, stomp on. He snorted like a pig, snort, snort, nothing. Some sounds worked better than others, but the only sounds that always worked was clapping. That's why Asher was sitting with the lamp when his little sister came in. He was practicing the perfect clap. He jumped into the room in her hot pink tutu. She jumped. She had sparkly goop smeared across her cheeks. Clearly, you are ready to clap, she said, her nose high in the air. That's good because I am ready to perform. I am ready for my spotlight. She stepped into the glow of the lamp. Then she started her ballet steps. Asher looked at her and rolled his eyes. Clap, clap. Based on the end of the story, how does Asher feel about his sister's performance? It doesn't sound like he's excited. He's pretty annoyed. Is he bored? Uh, 
Let's try it. I'm not sure if this is right. It could be board. Oh, yeah, we got it. Okay. Board I wasn't sure about. Um, we need three more to see what the premier membership <laughs> looks like. Uh, we just read that. What kind of story is this? So, because I'm the teacher, I know this is realistic fiction. It could happen in real life, but it's a made-up story. Right. So, yep, we are into those questions. So it's quick. A teacher makes an assignment. And it's right there. Some games I've played, it's delayed. Um, which sound did work on the turn? Uh, select all that apply. Clap definitely worked. Bang. Uh, did the bang work? Bang, bang on. Yes. So remember, remind your kids they can always go back into the story. Slap. I'm not sure about slap. Nothing. So no slap. No knock. No slap. No knock. A stomp and a snort. Stomp worked. A snort, no. So just stomp. Click. What? What did I see? What did, what did I miss? What did I get wrong? A knock? Let's see. Knock, knock, off. Oh, so it turned off? Uh, maybe I messed up. The text says, Asher's sister had sparkly goop smeared across her cheeks. What does the word smeared tell the reader? Uh, very messy, I would say. Smeared means messy. Is that all the questions I need? How come I want to... How come I didn't get the chest? I wanted to open up the chest. I hate bedtime. Sleeping is boring. I'm not tired. Zach, it's time for bed. Mom yells. I pretend I don't hear her. Zach, it's time for bed. Mom yells again. I keep quiet. Mom's footsteps came up the stairs. I hide in my closet. Come on, sleepyhead. Mom says, coming into my room. It's time to go to sleep. I stay still. I stay silent. I hold my breath. The closet, closet door is open. Let's go, silly. Mom says, time for bed. Ah, it's your bedtime. She says, I hate bedtime. You have to go to sleep. Sleeping is boring. You'll be tired if you don't go to bed. I'm tired. Mom holds out a hand for me. I take it and get up. Do I have to go to bed, I ask? Yes, she says. Could I stay up for a little longer? No, Mom says. I'm tired. You're still going to bed. Could you read me a story? I give Mom a sad look. Sometimes when I give her a sad look, she says, yes, please, I beg. Okay, she says, one quick story. Yes, I shout. I jump on the bed and slide under the blankets. Mom sits next to me. I hand her my favorite book, and she starts to read. The story is really good. It's about a dragon. I love stories about dragons. I'm happy that Mom is reading to me. I'm happy, more happy that I don't have to go to sleep. I hate bedtime. Sleeping is boring. I'm not tired. The next thing I remember, the sun is shining in my eyes. It's morning. I must have fallen asleep. Woo! Sorry, I'm reading quick because I only have 10 minutes on Flipgrid that I'm using to record this. The main character is the boy. What's the boy's name? I forgot. Uh, boy Zach. The Zach attack. All right, I really want the reward here. Uh, he thinks sleep is boring. Question. Um, read a book. Okay, one more. Mom reads like a story. What is the story about dragons? All right, let's see if, did I get the old reward? Yes. Here we go. Here's the premier membership. Co-bundle. I don't think I got anything too exciting right there, but I'm pretty sure you get exciting stuff. Okay. I am probably going to stop the video here because I don't know how much time there is left. Okay. So that's my premier membership. I got the Anubis equipped i look like i'm in egypt right now because i have an anubis yeah. running around okay i'll be sure to make more videos but enjoy i'll be making more videos on the premiere membership because i got one that i can give to other students so i'm going to give one student a day and say hey you're a premiere member today you can use it enjoy